Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on influence line diagrams. Let us read the question one time. In a simply supported girder of 20 meter span, four point loads 100 kN, 200 kN, 400 kN, 300 kN spaced at 2 meter, 3 meter, 3 meter respectively followed by a UDL of 20 kN per meter acting for 4 meter placed at 2 meter from the 300 kN as shown in the figure or moving from right to left the 100 kN leading calculate the shear force and bending moment at 8 meter from the left of the beam when the 100 kN point load is at 2 meter from the left of the beam in the question the length of the beam is given 20 meter 4 point loads and a UDL are given these loads are moving from right to left, the 100 kN load is leading. In this question, we have to calculate the shear force and bending moment at 8 meter from the left of the beam when the 100 kN point load is at 2 meter from the left of the beam. So, at 8 meter from the left of the beam, let us make one point that is point C. In this point, we have to calculate the bending moment and shear force. First, let us calculate the bending moment. We know the formula for the ordinate for bending moment x into L minus x by L. Here, x is equal to 8 meter and L minus x is equal to 12 meter. Finally, we are getting 4.8. You can see that I have kept 100 kN point load at 2 meter from the left side. It is what asked in the question. Now, let us calculate the ordinates. For 8 meter, it is 4.8, but I want for 2 meter, I am getting 1.2. In the same way, we can calculate the ordinates under 200 kN and under 400 kN. For 12 meter, it is 4.8, but I want for 10 meter. For that, I am getting 4. In the same way, we can calculate the ordinates under D and under E. Now let us calculate the bending moment under C. For the point loads, we have to multiply the load with the ordinate. You can see the formula. For the point loads, we have to multiply the load with the ordinate. For the UDL, we have to multiply the load with the area. So 100 into 1.2 plus 200 into 2.4 plus 400 into 4.2 plus 300 into 4 we will get these values then 20 into this area the area formula is half into b into h1 plus h2 here the breadth is 4 meter h1 is equal to 3.2 h2 is equal to 1.6 we can apply in the formula finally we are getting 3672 kN meter. Now let us calculate the shear force. We know that the ordinate for maximum positive shear force is equal to L minus x by L. The total length is 20 meter and x is 8 meter. Finally, we are getting 0 0.6. The ordinate for maximum negative shear force is equal to x by L. x is equal to 8 meter, L is equal to 20 meter. Finally, we are getting 0 0.4. Now, let us calculate the other ordinates. For 8 meter, it is 0 0.4, but I want for 2 meter, I am getting 0 0.1. For 8 meter, it is 0 0.4, but I want for 4 meter, I am getting 0 0.2. In the same way, we have to calculate the ordinate under 400 kN point load. For 12 meter, it is 0 0.6, but I want for 10 meter, I am getting 0 0.5. In the same way, we have to calculate the ordinate under the point D and the ordinate under the point E. Now, let us calculate the shear force under the point C. For the point loads, we have to multiply the load with the ordinate. For the UDL, we have to multiply the load with the area. These ordinates should be taken as negative. 
because they are in the negative shear force diagram. So minus 100 into 0 0.1, minus 200 into 0 0.2, minus 400 into 0 0.35, plus 300 into 0 0.5, we will get these values. Then we have to multiply the UDL load with the area. The area formula is half into B into H1 plus H2. The breadth is 4 meter. H1 is equal to 0 0.4. H2 is equal to 0 0.2. We can apply inside the formula. After adding all of the values, we are getting minus 16 kilonewton. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.